there was this guy, his father's friend's son was at that concert. He passed away there and he was Muslim, subhanAllah. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel I'm Shekha and today this is about Travis Scott concert last night something very disturbing happened and for me it was a reminder Malik Ulmot the angel of death does not respect oh I wasn't ready in my deen yet the angel of death doesn't come and ask you if this is a good time for you if this is a convenient time for you to be taken away when the appointed time comes is when we will be taken away I'm not going to talk too much about the Travis Scott concert. It's just really a rude awakening and a reminder that I thought that I had imprinted in my brain at all times, but right now, I was kind of taken aback. I think it's because I come from a place of, that's the life that I left. I walked away from that life and going to concerts. I used to go to concerts all the time before I was Muslim. I loved going to concerts. I love being in big crowds, feeling the music of that artist that I so, so love and adore and look up to. And this just kind of reminded me of, we can't be looking up to these people. First of all, they don't care about you. But this is not about Travis Scott and the way he handled the whole situation, which I thought it was very, just, this video was not about the evil of the music industry. There's a lot of symbolism and a lot of things that a lot of people don't understand and things that you really have to put yourself into, which unfortunately I've come across many situations where I wasn't aware at the time, but it was music, fame, and success versus the hereafter. Which one are you gonna pick? Alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always protected me when I was an artist. Certain things didn't happen to me. I remember being frustrated about it, but now I know that that was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protecting me this whole time because when I then became Muslim and started to see things a lot more clearly and did a lot of research into things, and my journey with quitting listening to music even, quitting using music as an outlet for me, because for me, music was like a medicine. These artists, I idolized them. I wanted to be like them since I was a, a, a young little girl. I always thought that that's what I'm going to do and that's what I was striving for and that's what I was working for my whole life. This is really deep. So when I saw what happened at that concert, I said, damn, the angel of death does not have respect for where you are in your journey. There was this guy, his father's friend's son was at that concert. He passed away there and he was Muslim. Subhanallah. And that's why I wanted to make this video to share this reminder with you guys because for me it was like, wow, we have to be mindful of where we are and what we're doing. The angel of death can come to us at any time. We all are imperfect. We all make mistakes. We're all sinners. All of us without exception. But we decide what we will do with our days. How will you spend your day? Going to a concert, going to a club, going into these places where astral world all these crazy symbolisms and he was acting weird like this is so much deeper than I am gonna go into now my heart goes out to everybody who's been touched by that tragedy because nobody expects for their child to go to a concert or out with their friends and for them to never come back home and for that to be the last time you see them that was a reminder for me that was a big part of my hijab journey as well decided to when i put on hijab i no longer can hang with these people or go these places or do these certain things my hijab is my reminder and in the beginning i really really needed that and that's why i wanted to wear it because i wanted to remove myself from that lifestyle i hope that if you see this and if you have plans on going to a concert, please be mindful of where you go and who your friends are. Who you surround yourself with and who your friends are absolutely matters to what your life is going to look like. If you have something to add, if you have any words of advice or some comforting words that you want to put in the comment section, please, you're welcome to. And I'll see you guys on the next video. So don't look. So remember to check out our description box for the links of our Patreon and how to join our family. Thank you so much for your support. We really appreciate you. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching and that was all we had for now. Let us know what more content you guys want down in the 
comment section and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel if you already haven't love you guys so much thank you for your support assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh